Look, oh, yeah. look at the tiny one it can be made. Who, who is this the banana for? Oh, yeah. For Ian? tortillas with your toddler I uh, will put a little link here in the description so you guys can see that uh, also if you like that video share it with your friends if you like our videos and if you like this video or the vlogs make sure you subscribe like and also comment what you like about our videos now we are actually gonna be home today because the weather is not really healthy check it out it's been sunny all these days and right now it's just turned really cloudy so we're eating here with Camille and mommy and Ian. By the way, these tortillas, we're here to you guys, are really awesome. Camille, our little chef here, made, helped me make these tortillas that you guys saw in the video. And, sorry, I'm still eating my food. I'm still trying to swallow my food. We've been here in Spain since when, babe? Since like March? March 3rd. Since March 3rd, we've been here in Spain. And, you know, we miss home. We miss, uh, you know, the Mexican food. We miss tortillas. My mom makes an awesome tortillas. She makes out some tamales too and stuff. And I will make tortillas for my wife in, in Oregon. And Camille will help me too. And so we will look at all over the place where we can find the actual uh, flour, I guess you can call it, or, or maseca as we call it, and masa. And we finally found it in the store here that's not far away. It's like a five minute walk, 10 minute walk. And we found it, we made it. I told my wife to be the judge to see how they taste it. She said it was bomb. So now we officially have tortillas. Later on today, you guys will see in the video, we're gonna make empanadas. We? Oui. Yeah, that's me and Camille, because Camille's my little chef, right Camille? Look, Camille, you're my little chef? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm done too. Yeah, Camille's my little chef, so he's gonna help me, and we're gonna make empanadas using the same masa to see how it comes out. What are you making? Yes. He's making a little taco, a little huevo taco. Who make? Quien hace el taco así para ti? Who makes it for you like that? Mom. Mom? Nice, mom. Look at Ian. I think Ian's gonna be a painter. Every time he has something in his hands that's squishy, he'll squish it out and he'll start moving it around and making little figurines and stuff. By the way, babe, how was breakfast today? Mama. Yeah, see? Oh, I always catch you eating. Let's take a quick break. Ian, Camille. What are we watching? McQueen. We're watching Lightning McQueen, Camille. Yeah, we're watching Lightning McQueen. We are watching Lightning McQueen. We're getting ready for Cars 3. Look at this. It's Ian's first time watching Lightning McQueen. And we're going to take a little break, and then after that, we're going to make some food. We're going to make some empanadas later today. I'll show you guys how to make some empanadas. Ah, Lightning McQueen. Brum, brum. Yeah, brum, brum. Brum, brum. All right, guys, so Camille and Ian are watching the Cars movie right now. I'm going to cook the empanadas. First, Camille's gonna help me later on to make the actual empanadas. First, I like to do a little bit of what goes inside the empanada. Because see, the empanada consists of a flat tortilla filled with something of your choice. It can be chicken, it can be beef. In my point right now, we're gonna have some ground beef. It's all prepared, all ready to go. Uh, you can have cheese in it too. You can have all kinds of stuff. Whatever you want to put in it, you can put in it. Now, I'm doing ground beef because my mom used to cook it like that for me, and it's just kind of like, it brings me back home. So what I like to do is I like to put some, uh, I like to put some onions, bell peppers, a little bit of all, olive oil, potatoes, and then season it with some salt and pepper, and then we get that on the grill first, let it cook up for a little bit, let it get nice and brown and toasty, and then we're gonna add the meat and we're gonna season it as well. On a funny note, you guys, I never measure how much pepper or salt I put. I, it's kind of like my body already knows how much you need to put, and it's all the spices I'm gonna use on the meat. So I, I got uh, romero, I don't know how to say that in English, uh, seasoning of spices, seasoning for meat, black pepper, and we got some another seasoning here. I put all that in there into this meat, and then we're gonna put it into the grill. And then that's gonna be our stuffing for our empanadas. First I'm gonna cook that, and then we're gonna put it inside the empanadas. And I'll show you guys as we go on how wonderful and how 
delicious looks good. Once you got your meat seasoned and you got everything pretty much cooking, you put it back on the stove. I set it down on a medium set. I'm gonna set it up on a high set. And then we're gonna start cooking this meat. Get it all ready for some awesome empanadas. All right guys, look. This is how my meat looks so far. All right, so my meat is all done. Look, this is how it looks like. All ready to go. But I have to make another batch of just without the veggies and also because Camille doesn't like the meat with the veggies. He, he just can't stand that or not, just a little thing. So I'm making his little batch here of just plain meat with seasoning and whatnot. So his empanadas can have that and our empanadas can have this. All right guys, Camille here is gonna help me. Let me fix this camera for a little bit. It's gonna help me make empanadas, right? Yeah. We have leftover masa from the tortillas that we did earlier today. You guys saw that on our other tutorial that we did. We're gonna use that masa and we're gonna make some bomb empanadas. Again, all you will need is masa your two little round things that we cut up from the tortilla tutorial and you need some sort of a flat pan if you already don't have a tortilla maker. If you have a tortilla maker, you're saved. But if not, you can make it with this. So here we go. So you gotta put it in between your hands, you kind of make a little ball, kind of like, you, kind of like you're doing Play-Doh. You kind of like this. And then you gotta roll it around. And then put it in the middle of this. I'll put this one, I'll give you one of yours, okay? Put it in the middle of that, and then once you put it in the middle, here, I'll turn the camera here. Once you put it in the middle of that little paper, I mean, a little plastic bag, then you're gonna grab the pan and you're gonna squish it down. Here, I'll show okay, you guys. Do it. Okay, you guys, here we have our plastic bag with a little ball, and we're gonna use this. Ready? Squish it, squish it, squish it. Push it down, push it down. Oh, hard, hard, hard. And squish it down hard. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Once we squish it, it should be like this. Once you have that flattened down, just flatten it a little bit more with your hands. Tiny little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have to set the heat on our stove to the highest heat with... Tamiya. With oil. You can use olive oil. You can use regular frying oil. That's why we That's have... That's what this right there. Now that we have that, we are going to leave our tortilla here and we're going to add that amazing meat that we made earlier. We're going to add Camille's meat first. We're going to grab a little bit of, we're going to grab a spoonful of the meat. We're going to put it on one side of the tortilla. We're going to fold it. Once we fold it, we kind of like, like Play-Doh, we're going to squish the little ends together. Make sure that your tortilla doesn't crack. Because if it cracks, then you won't have a good empanada. Once that's made, stick it out like that. Yeah. Fix the bottom parts, just making sure that it's all squished together. Squish. Once it's all squished together, and make sure that you guys' this empanada is not all ripped, what we're going to do is we're going to add it to our frying oil. Keep in mind, you guys, this is my first time ever making empanadas and Camille's, little chef Camille, first time ever also making empanadas. We got our first one done here. We're gonna throw it in the oil and hope for the best, keep our fingers crossed that everything works out well and that I, and, we. and that we know how to do this and hopefully yeah. they come out great. First one going into the oil. Milestone reached you guys, first time ever making an empanada, first ever empanada that I make and Camille makes in the fryer. Well, not exactly a fryer, but frying pan with oil. And another thing you wanna keep in mind is you might wanna grab a little spoon as you guys are doing this and just every once in a while just drizzle some of that oil on top of that part of the tortilla right there. Just drizzle a little bit, drizzle, drizzle, so that way it can cook also the top part of the tortilla as well. Just drizzle a little bit. Um, I'm making this with Camille, but obviously I'm being very careful because he's a little kid. I don't want him to get burned, especially with um, you know, boiling oil. I don't want him to get burned or anything. So if you're doing it with your kids, make sure that you take the right precautions to not get burned. And if you're doing this on your own, also take care of yourself and don't get burned because this oil is really hot. Wait for it to kind of just puff up a little bit. We're gonna turn it around and make sure it's golden brown and then we have our first ever empanada. 
Look, for look Ian. at the tiny one that Camille made. Who, who is this the banana for? For Ian? For Ian? You and made this, a little one? You made a little one for, for Ian? That's a for tiny me. one. You want to get the tiniest one? Look, he made a little, look, it's like, it's not even as big as my hand. Empanada for Ian. That's, and this one like Yeah. <laughs> the first, as soon as he was done making it, the first thing he said, this is for Ian, Dad. This is for Ian. I was like, okay, okay, I got it. It's for Ian. Yes, now we're going to surprise Mommy. Mommy, look. Look what we made. Look. Oh, you burned it for me? There's a, open the oven. You'll see it in there. Look at it. Take it oh, out. Take the it first out. one? Yeah, take it out. Take it out. So you can show it. Show them. Look at this. Oh, nice. Our first empanada, you guys. What do you think, mommy? You think we're chefs now? We can open up a restaurant. Should we open? Should we open up a restaurant now? If we open up a restaurant, what should we name it? We got Ian's going right now. Ian's is cooking right now. working on making a T-Rex and making a snowman. I'm worried about making some good food for lunch and he's worried about how he's gonna make T-Rex or a shark. A shark in a snowman. Look how bomb the bananas look like. All right guys, we picked, we just took out the last empanada. Little chef Camille helped me here. We made it. I'm gonna show you guys, look. Look, those are our empanadas. All made, all ready to devour and eat. We did have a little bit of an incident. Look at it. Look how the stove looks right now. My wife helped me take the pan out of the fire. And as we were doing that, it caught fire. It was like, it was like fire. And it was like, I got scared. She got a little bit scared by me. And, me and too. I thought we were going to set the house on fire. But it's just the oil that fell down there and kind of caught fire. But we're all good. We're all safe and sound. We're just going to go and enjoy our empanadas right now. Chef Camille and Chef Jose cooked for mommy. Yeah, cooked for mommy. Look, Camille. We, uh, we finally finished our empanadas. We cooked the snowman. We cooked the snowman. We cooked the, we cooked the empanada. Hold on. They're we ready. cooked the oh. empanadas. Now, typically these empanadas will be topped with lettuce it's or cabbage. And some people like it with un like big round it's onions, me, cheese, and sour cream, and some salsa. But we don't have the salsa because we don't have a blender we're gonna buy one soon. and we don't have chiles here yeah we don't have jalapenos here either so we need to find some we're on a hunt for jalapenos <laughs> then we're gonna top them with that we're just gonna have to eat them just normal like a regular empanada but i do have to admit one thing these empanadas are way better than the empanadas that the spanish people eat here oh my god i know i get banana way better if this guy eats what daddy cooks that's a 10 out of 10. daddy made a good Get him, made a good meal. Mommy just gave him a full one, basically, and he just ate it. Look, it's, it's like still chewing on it, but it's almost gone. Now, I want to show you guys, if you guys don't have salsa, like we don't have salsa, or if you guys don't like salsa because it's spicy, or you don't know how to make salsa, we'll make another video where we can show you how to make salsa. But if you guys don't have that, you can use any dipping sauce. Uh, my little one, Camille, he's using, he's using ketchup, look. Ketchup. I used to eat it like that when I was little. I'm gonna use this sauce here in Spain is called Brava sauce. I'm gonna add, and I'm gonna add some habanero Tabasco, and then I also wanna dip it in, because again, we don't have salsa, but soon, stay tuned, because we're gonna make you guys, we're gonna show you guys how to make your own homemade salsa. I'm gonna call it a night. Camille is gonna go take a shower. Ian's gonna go take a shower too, right Ian? Yeah! Yeah! They're gonna go take a shower, after they're taking a shower, they're gonna go to sleep, straight to sleep, so, Little boys here enjoyed a wonderful day. We went out, we had fun at the park, and actually, look, you guys, show me your owie. Camille get an owie. Look, I don't know if the camera can focus on this. Look at Camille get an owie. You got an owie at the park? Yeah. He was playing with some kids, and he slipped and fell and hit himself on the lip. But thankfully, we put some ice in there, and it's all looking better now. Time to take a shower. Time to go to sleep. Thank you guys for watching. If you like our video, hit that like button, share it with your friends, comment. We're actually watching Camille's favorite uh, YouTubers, The Daily Bumps. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button. Comment what's your favorite part of the video. And we will see you guys tomorrow on another episode together and with us. Good night. Good night. Chocolate. Chocolate. Bye. Bye.